Morning everyone, I hope you're all okay. So one of the questions I get asked all the time as a hairdresser is about curling hair. How can we curl our hair at home? What tools do we use? So I thought I'd put a video together showing you the three tools I use for curling myself and other people's hair. I mean, there's so many different tools out there and equipment when it comes to curling and crimping and straightening that it is a job, it is confusing to know. So I thought I might be of help to put this video together going through the three that I use and showing you on myself I'll give you a quick demonstration showing you the curl they produce so you know which one you need to buy for the look you want to go for so let's get down to the facts and the important stuff first obviously any intense heat product that you are using on your hair is damaging this is because our hair is made up of a few layers, but right on the outside of the hair is the cuticles. Now I like to think of the cuticle as tiles on the roof of the house. These need to kind of overlap, they need to be smooth, and then, and then they're closed off, and what that will do is protect the hair on the inside. By using too much of a heat tool or equipment or a heat source on there, you, are, you can cause damage to these cuticles, causing them to fray, to split and to be left open all the time and then the inside is exposed to more external damage from the outside. So it's really, really important that any time we use a heat product that includes a hairdryer, we use a heat protect product. Now, what this does is this puts a barrier over the hair and hopefully protecting that cuticle and that hair and stopping as much damage as it possibly can getting in. Now, some of this equipment does go up to a massively hot temperature. I mean, some of them, I think, are 240, 250. That is a ridiculous amount of heat repeatedly on your hair. So if you've got a heat setting on your appliance, please put it as low as you possibly can. I like to have mine at 180. Um, I don't straighten or curl my hair every day. And while I'm at home in lockdown, I do like to let my hair naturally air dry. As you can see, I've got this kinky wave in it. Um, and that's going to be best for it. Also, you don't need to be repeatedly going over your hair. If you've got straighteners, you should literally need to glide down it once. What it can cause is the damage will create more frizz, putting you in a vicious cycle of needing to repeat every day with the straighteners every day and causing more damage down the line. So please, please take these things into account when you're using any kind of heat tool or equipment on your hair, because not only do we want our hair to look good, we want it to be good and as strong as possible on the inside. So let's move on to our first tool. And the first tool we're going to be using is the Babyliss Curling Tong. So these are my curling tongs. As you can see, they look like this. Now these are actually the Babyliss Pro Dialer Heat um, because it has a heat dial on it, which means you can set the temperature to what you want it to be. Okay, so they are ceramic as well. So that's slightly better than iron um, and they're 32 millimeters because obviously I've got quite short hair. I do like a curl um, and these are gonna create that kind of look. So now these go up to 210 degrees, I think, um, and they have a heat setting on them ranging from one to 25. I like to have mine on 19. Um, now I can't find what exact, I've done a bit of research and I can't find what exact temperature that is, but obviously I would imagine it's around the, the 180 mark. So this is what they look like, okay? So we need a clamp. So your hair is dried and you can section it up and out the way and what you do you take your section of hair now be careful when you touch tongs because this barrel here gets really really hot so you need to just be touching the ends and you're going to go in glide it down to the end and it's clamped shut and roll up okay just like that then you can leave that there for a few minutes Push this to release it and it will just give you that soft curl, okay? If you've got a smaller barrel on your tongs, it's going to create a smaller curl. But I just wanted the soft curl look, which is why I went for this size. It does come in a few different sizes, so please feel free to message me if you want to know a bit more on what size you think you would need on your length hair 
because they do go bigger as well. So set that in for a few minutes, but not minutes, seconds. Release, and there's the curl. So you will keep unclipping your hair and carrying that on. Closing it in and rolling up. So we're on to our last section now on this side. Now when you go to each side, what you have to make sure is that your curls are directed backwards on the side that you're going. So on this side, all my curls are going this way. And on this way, all my curls are going that way. That way, when it comes to your face, it's gonna curl it, sweep it round your face and open your face up. Now, all the time that you're doing this, make sure you do not touch the curls, okay? Curl them in and then just let them fall out because what you're doing is when you're doing this, your hair is still hot. So by then running your fingers through it or pulling them out, you're causing them to drop while they're still warm and they're gonna set that way. You need to make sure your hair is completely cooled down before you even work on styling the curls or pulling them or loosening them or moving them around. So that is all done and that is untouched, okay? So, oh, there's a bit there. Let me get that one. So they create a lovely curl, as you can see. It's that nice, soft, glamorous curl. My hair's quite short, so obviously for longer hair, it's gonna be looser and bigger curls and obviously the size of the barrel is obviously for my hair type and length so but that is the kind of look that you're going for if I allow that just put a bit of spray hairspray over it now and allow that to set like that it should pretty much stay like that for the rest of the day okay so that is the Babyliss curling tongs and that's the look and how you use them So moving on to the wand. Now the wand I use is the GHD Creative Curl Wand. Um, I love this. Admittedly, when I bought it, I did have long hair. So it does work better on longer hair, but I'm gonna show you what it does on my hair. Um, so there's a few different ones GHD have to choose from. So this is quite flat, but slightly wider. It's kind of that shape, because I really wanted that kind of beach wave look um, and when you turn it on it makes this cool little noise so it heats up really fast it is quite hard to use um, and it does come with a glove because it gets really really hot and if you touch that it really hurts but I seem to keep finding these in my daughter's room so I presume the glove is somewhere in there with that but I'm not looking for that right now so it's literally a wand it's a hot stick you wrap your hair around it and hold it there for a few seconds and the curl sets so i'm going to show you today how i use that so literally same process we clip our hair up out the way and then you're literally going to get your hair and wrap it round it see this is where it gets hard because obviously you don't want to touch that so you, you can only kind of without the glove on go so far but this creates a really, really lovely curl. As you can see. So same thing again, always make sure you're wrapping it round away from the face to create opening it up and your curls coming back away from your face when you do it. Okay, and then you can just let that fall.
Now the smaller the sections with this, the more kind of curls you have. And this is, as you can see, it only takes a few seconds and then you just let it go and look at that. So again, you just let them drop. Don't touch these curls at all until your hair is completely cooled down. So I'm just doing the front and the sides purely so you can see this. Um, when you're doing the back, it is hard because obviously you've just kind of got to lean your head and tilt your head so you can see where you're holding because that's when you do burn yourself. But as you can see, that does create a really, really lovely kind of wavy curl. Okay. On my final section and as you can see I'm still wrapping backwards away from my face okay and the last one here wrap it round now one's come in all different shapes and sizes um, but I just and I did a lot of research when buying this. Um, I think it's about £130, but it's so worth it. I absolutely love it. So, turn that off. Makes a nice noise again. And as you can see, that's the kind of loose curl wave it creates, which is why I love it so much, because it's just lovely. So you wait for that to completely cool down. And then you can either leave it like that and kind of go and let it look like, you know, that kind of like beach, surfy, wavy look. Or you can run your fingers gently through it and just create that movement and just kind of umph it up a little bit. Okay, but that's the GHD Creative Curl Wand. we have the straighteners so mine are ghd straighteners they're just the classic normal ones and i use these for curling the most out of everything because they're always with me and you can create a few different curls with them which i'm going to show you today so it works much the same as all the others when we're sectioning your hair off there's a few different ways you can do it. So again, you're gonna take your section. Now, a lot of mistakes that people make when it comes to curling with straighteners is they start at the bottom and roll up. That's how we do it with the tongs, but with the straighteners, we don't. With the straighteners, you're always gonna go in at the roots first at the top. So get your section, clamp it in and facing down, okay? Then you're gonna do a 180 degree turn on it and glide down and that creates that curl. So again, I'll show you again, you're in at the top, clamp it closed, 180 degrees, and make sure they're pointing down towards the floor and slowly glide down. And it's that simple, okay? And you can get loads of different kinds of curls with the straighteners. So I'm gonna do all of this side, just like that. And then when it comes to the other side, I'll show you another technique that you can use with them. Once again, leave your curls once you've dropped them until they've completely cooled down before you do any dress work on them. But just keep going up through your sections like that until you reach the top. Coming on to the other side, I'm gonna show you a different technique you can use when you're curling with your straighteners. Now, obviously you would just pick one because otherwise we're gonna have two different types of curls. But this way, we're just gonna do the same technique, taking the section, but this time your straighteners are going to face up, okay? So put him up, same clamp, and this time you're just gonna keep twisting as you gently pull it down the hair. And what that will do, that will give you more of a ringlet type of curl, like that. So it's quite simple, keep your sections quite small and then that's going to get it much curlier or if you want just some loose bouncy waves in there, you can do this with bigger sections. So this time we're going in at the root, facing directly up, 
and twisting the whole time as we're moving it down the hair. There we are. So in at the root and keep turning it slowly all the time, making sure that it's not staying on one part of the hair for too long and causing any damage. So you'll just keep going up through the sections of your hair using that technique. And remember, we're still going backwards away from our face all the time. So we're turning it away from our face. And keeping it moving all the time. That's the two sides done with the two different techniques done by the straighteners. Remember for the longer wavier curls you're going to face your straighteners down from the root always moving them and for the ringlety type tight curls your straighteners are going to face up and we're going to constantly keep moving and twisting them as you glide down the hair. So that creates these two looks. So as you can see, this side we've got the ringlets and this side we've got that loose wave. So once that's completely cooled down, it's up to you what you do then. You can either leave it like this or just gently run your fingers through it, applying a bit of hairspray if you want any. And as you can see, so that's the curl that one creates and that's the curl that the other creates. So there you go. That's the straighteners. So that's me showing you the three different ways I curl and the three tools I use. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to message me um, or comment, like, and I'm happy to talk you through any questions you have or anything you don't understand. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.